Also back with us on our Superstar panel tonight, the conservative commentator Calvin Robinson and the author and journalist Rebecca Reed. Now, leading researchers are issuing a warning that introducing gender neutral terms such as birth givers risks dehumanizing women. Academics from across the world have said in a new letter for a women's health journal that changing language in order to be inclusive of transgender people can have unintended consequences that have serious implications. It comes as NHS trusts, health charities, academics and government departments have all faced criticism for introducing gender neutral terms such as these absurdities. Uh, so breastfeeding becomes chest feeding. Breast milk becomes human milk. Expectant mothers become pregnant people. Mother becomes a parent who has given birth. And women become birthing people while a woman becomes, oh, this is the worst yet, a menstruator. The normalization of extreme gender neutrality has been exemplified with Apple's release of a pregnant man emoji one of several new non-binary and woke uh, emoticons rolled out by the corporation as part of their effort to make digital discourse more inclusive. Mm. Rebecca Reed, uh, should we shrug off wokery like this, tainting our WhatsApps, or is there something more sinister going on here? Um, I think the emoji, I can happily let it go. I think it'll largely be used by people who've had a big lunch. I think the, the guidance around language is a much more significant problem. And what I fully cannot understand is why, if you believe that this language is important, the guidance isn't women and menstruators and women and birthing people. Why do you have to remove... If you really feel that this is important, why do you have to remove the word woman? Because what I don't really understand is I genuinely believe that other, anybody has the, the right to be referred to as they wish to. But why doesn't that also apply to people who want to be called women, which is a significant chunk of people? Mm. But Dawn, this is, I mean, this is not just like a tiny minority. This is a minuscule minority. I mean, literally, the numbers of men, quote unquote, men giving birth, I mean, come on, you, can, or not. you, you can count can, them. No men are giving birth. Or people who identify can, can, as can, men can, giving birth. Can we just get one thing straight, OK? <laughs> <clears throat> if you have a womb and you are, are expecting a baby in that womb and you are going to breastfeed that baby, you are biologically sexed is a woman. You are a woman, OK? There is no argument. That's not being transphobic, Dan. That is just stating a biological mm. fact. And it just constantly amazes me and annoys me as a woman who sort of like, yeah, considers herself a feminist, that women now are, are being cancelled. Woman is almost becoming a swear word. And I do not... What's wrong with being called a menstruator, Dawn? Why aren't you happy with that? <laughs> well, I'm not even going to respond to that. But, I mean... Well, no, that's what I, they say I, you should I, be I, called. Well, I know, but this is the problem. I am more than a menstruator. I am more than something with a cervix. And you know what really annoys me about this story? It only applies to women. Even the NHS website, they might have changed it recently, but the NHS website, I'm told very recently, was talking about people with cervixes, menstruators, and, 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 and certainly as far as women's cancers mm. were concerned, they were referred to in sort of like, you know, women with cervixes. You go on to the men's mm. version for prostate cancer and you're men. Mm. Why is it all one-way yeah. traffic? And, and, and Rebecca Reed, the problem but is it won't soon. be one-way traffic for long, though, will it? Soon we won't be able to refer to people as men either. I, I so, think, so we'll call them people with prostates. I think it will remain... I'm going to say something I think I'm probably going to regret. But Go I think, on. I think it will remain one-way traffic yeah, because I think that women who transition to become men were not socialised as men. Sorry, were not socialised as women. Therefore, are sometimes more grabby about space. And I think if you look at how trans men and trans women behave, they're very, very different. And trans women largely leave things alone. And I think when you see land grabs, it more often comes from a very tiny, very, very, very tiny minority of trans women who are very, very aggressive. And the majority of trans women just want to quietly live their lives. Yeah, quite, But there is a absolutely. small and frightening Calvin, group. Calvin Robinson, isn't this good and inclusive? You know, talking about breastfeeding is chest Stop feeding. It, Stop it. <laughs> 
breast <laughs> milk as human milk. Human milk is really gross. I you can't say. even keep a straight face asking the question. I actually agree with Rebecca. If they wanted to be inclusive, they would include additional language. Yes, absolutely. Take the language There's away. No, no one's upset but by that. It's actually anti feminist because, you know, trans activists will say, I have the right to demand to be called this, to be called something else. But then at the same time, they don't let women be called women anymore. They're taking away from what someone else's label is. Also, but, what but happens... even, even if women are to be called women, now they're cis women. They're no longer just women. I know, and that's, and and that's the thing. I don't actually necessarily agree that we can just keep adding to things. Because look, look at the farce, right, that the gay community now faces. Because yeah. you used to be able to LGBTQIA say, I'm gay plus. or I'm lesbian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's now not that plus, out, is it? No, 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 it's even longer than LGBTQIA that. LGBTQIA plus, no? That it's is possible. that is a reduced version. What's you know, the full? There are, oh, my goodness, it goes on and on and on. LGBTQIA. A. No, there's, there's more. There's another question. The Q is also question. P. P. This is not trans plus. PP. This is not trans people doing this, just as it wasn't the gay people no, doing that. No, it's true. This is trans activists. And, actually, and sexual and intersex. A lot of them are include. neo-Marxists, a lot of them are commies, <laughs> and they're trying to undermine our way of life by yeah. taking over our language, and they're destroying totally. our principles. So that's why I think we just have to be a bit careful about saying, let's just keep adding yeah, things. Yeah. But, you know, because but, where because does it only end? Only women can give birth. But that's only not women the same. have two X chromosomes. That's a fact. But that's not the same problem. I, I think there's room for discussion about adding and taking away and all that stuff. But I think what really does matter to me here is when you call a woman a menstruator, that means that when she ceases to menstruate, which for women it could be from oh. your late 30s mm. even, mm. you are apparently no longer a woman. You, you don't mm. fit the description of being of a woman. Of course. But the, but the that bottom, is really dangerous. The bottom, yeah. the very right what, does it, what does it mean to be a woman? They well, should never answer that question. The very bottom line with this story is if the use of language not to offend people and upset people is actually putting women's lives at risk. Mm then that is where this is going. But also okay, sometimes but... trans people, because what's happening is you're not... So there is an issue with people not being called for the right checks because you've been changed, your sex has changed on your medical records, therefore you're not called for a cervical cancer check or a prostate well, check. Well, how stupid are you? If and you that's have really... trans, you know you've still got a cervix, you go and get it checked. I know, but I need a reminder. I think lots of people do. Like, it, it, it feels mad to me to prioritise your identity on a piece of paper above your actual health. Mm, yeah, indeed. Well, it is. It comes from mental health issues, doesn't it? Quite a well, lot of it's a complicated one, isn't it? Mm, let's not go there tonight, yeah. Kevin, please. <laughs> another time, guys. Yes, we'll save that one for another time.